Welcome into this week's edition of the Recruiting Roundup powered by Rock and Refuel. Jason Jewell, Scout.com. Jared Cohen, Sports 360. We bring the latest in Arizona high school football recruiting and do so year round. Three big offers to get to that happened in the past week. Jason, let's start off the first offer for a Brophy standout that's had a fantastic year, Isaiah Oliver. Yeah, it's about time. Isaiah Oliver is having one of the best years quietly in the state of Arizona. He has over 1,100 yards receiving and he has six interceptions on defense. Just phenomenal. Was offered by Colorado. Had a previous offer from the University of New Mexico, but the CU offer is his first at the BCS level. Big time offer for Oliver and, and a well-deserved one. And Oliver's also the, the Justin Bethel of high school football with what he does blocking kicks on special teams. He's a playmaker. Next offer happened last week. Davis Parrott picks up a Pac-12 offer. Yeah, was offered by Washington State. Now we've seen this kid dramatically rise since the beginning of the year. He's approaching, he's, he's passed double-digit offers, right? now. Washington State, though, could quietly be one of those sleeper teams that he really likes. He's visited Cal, who's in the Pac-12. He's visited Boise State, which is a small school atmosphere that he kind of likes. So Washington State could end up being a fit for him. Davis Parrott had no offers at the start of the season and, as Jason mentioned, has double digit before the season is over. They have a big game against Pinnacle this week as Mountain Point. That should be very exciting in Division One. Final offer, Christian Kirk picks up a big-time offer despite the fact that he named his top six a few weeks back, but it's a big one. There are very few kids in the nation, much less the state of Arizona, that can just turn down LSU. And that is essentially what Christian did. Christian named his top six quite a while ago. LSU offered him last week, and he just felt it was too late. He'd already taken his unofficial visits, taken several official visits, including the one to Arizona State this past weekend, watching them beat uh, Notre Dame. But Christian just said, it's too late in the recruiting process. I already kind of have a plan of what I want to do. I want to graduate early, and it's too late, LSU. I'm sorry. And on the football field, Christian Kirk doing pretty well as well, having a fantastic year, uh, became a state record holder last week, and it's why we've named him our Recruiting Roundup Player of the Week from round one of the playoffs. Yeah, big time. He's going to be the he's going down as the state's all-time leading receiver. It has has the most yards ever in the state of Arizona, which is just ridiculous. The, the receivers that we've had here over the years, it's it just tremendous. Christian, a well-deserved uh, an honor, and he was also in that game last week. He had five touchdowns. So very anxious to see where Christian Kirk ends up at the next level because he is going to be a star, and he's really making plays right now in the playoffs for Saguaro. They're moving on to the second round. Speaking of last week in round one, one of the really impressive performances that I saw in person last week. He's going to be our breakout prospect this week, even though we've talked about him a few times. Preston Guerra over at Cactus had a gutsy performance in the upset win over Sunrise Mountain. Yeah, this was a, a great performance for a variety of reasons. One, Guerra, he threw five touchdown passes, which is great, in their upset of Sunrise Mountain. Sunrise had beaten Cactus earlier in the year in a very, very close one, but he was even more special because Cactus was playing with Brian Bellis being their uh, basically interim head coach, while Coach Beckenheyer is recovering from surgery that he had last week from cancer. They had a, a new offensive coordinator, their offensive line coach, Aaron Walls, was calling the game, so it was even more important that a guy like Guerra played well, and that's exactly what he did. He put his team on his back. He extended plays, he made perfect throws, and even when Cactus gave up that big lead, that team didn't panic, and they really took on the personality of their quarterback. Now let's talk into round two, Jason. Huge, huge, huge matchups. Some of these matchups I feel like could be state championship game matchups with the magnitude of them. First one we're going to mention that I'm going to talk about, Brophy against Desert Ridge, and it's all about the run game with both of these teams. Brophy has had a fantastic year. They got off to that slow start, but man, have they been clicking on all cylinders since and a lot of it is because of the play of their junior running back, Ryan Velez. He has been a star. Really had his breakout performance last year in round one against Westview, having a huge performance, not just running the ball, but also on kick returns. He goes up against Taryn Morrison, who was the state's leading rusher a year ago, and he has come back since rejoining the Jaguars this season, has had a great year. It's all about the running game with these two teams, and it should be a really good one in, at Phoenix College this week. Yeah, I'm also going to talk about two teams that like to run the football. The Queen Creek Desert Edge matchup in Division Three is a huge one. It's a rematch of the, the state championship game from two years ago, one that Queen Creek won in a very close one, but they are fueled by Weston Barlow, their running back. How many kids can say that they, they had a 400-yard rushing game and then follow that up with a 300-yard rushing game? And that's exactly what Barlow did in the first round last week, rushed for 315 yards. Very impressive. And then Desert Edge and their high-powered offense led by sophomore quarterback Teron 
Juan Thomas. He rushed for 375 yards and six touchdowns last week and then chipped in another 114 yards and had a uh, throwing touchdown as well. It should be a track meet. That'll be a lot of fun. Those two games just scratch the surface, the surface of what round two is going to look like. It should be a lot of fun, and we'll bring you the results of that next week. Until then, that's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. This has been the Recruiting Roundup, powered by Rock and Refuel.